front, if you're a visitor with us, what we do is one child in the congregation puts something in the box. I don't know what it is until I open the box, and then I have to try and find some way to connect it to the Bible and what it might teach us about God and his word. And what we have here today is a remote control car, a bumper car. I don't know. Does it, are, they, are there batteries? Does it work? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm probably, I'm not going to figure out how to turn it on and all of that. Well, you know, I might. Let's just see. Oh, it's not working. Okay, that's okay. Uh, well, maybe, maybe I can play with it after the service, because I love remote control cars. So let's see. I, I don't think that there are any remote control cars in the Bible. Hmm. But you know what? Sometimes people misunderstand what the Bible says about God, because the Bible says that God is in control of everything. God controls everything that happens. And then sometimes people think that that means that we're like machines, that we're like this car and God is somewhere up in the sky and he's pushing buttons and moving us around. But that's not the picture that scripture shows us about God. It says that yes, God is in control of everything, but that he invites us to be a part of what he is doing that he invites us to trust in him and obey him. And through Jesus, we can become a part of his kingdom. And there's a mystery in how God is in control of everything, but how we could genuinely, genuinely respond to God. But we can know that God in his grace, he does rule everything, but he wants you to be a part of what he is doing. He wants you to turn from your sins and to trust in him and to obey what he tells us to do as his people. All right, great sermon in the box. Thank you so much. Maybe after the service, we'll see if we can get that working and I can play with it. Okay, will Junia be...